Everything I see in the morning is fuck that shit. People are bent in and tired, so fuck that shit. I walk like the pillager service and ask for this. Now it's my brain and my goal, so I can give a shit. Hey guys, it's me again, Pat, aka the Fat Pride One from HoopPro.com, and I just got home from spring break and decided let's do a video. Let's start it up. So, um, I got a lot of people on, uh, not just Hoopa Pro, but yeah, um, YouTube, and um, leave me comments. Thank you for that. And they ask, what are you doing? How are you getting your QT to work so well? And stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a setup video for you guys and a shisha review. And let's start this off. It's my QT base. Um, there was a lot of ice in here, but it melted. So I usually put ice about right here, maybe a little higher. I just try to fill the whole thing up. My water level is around here, about a half an inch from the top. If you can see that, I think you can see it. So about a half an inch for the QT. So here's my QT base, QT base, rubber grommet. Put that shit on there nice and good. Give me a second, guys. The one without the auto valve on it. So I did get the double, but I'm just smoking by myself right now. So make sure this one has make sure it has a gasket on it if you are using the QT. Sorry about this, guys. Again, I try to edit this part about. Alright, that's perfect. Okay, so I got the one hose valve. I get down there kind of tight. It's perfect. Make sure I have the ball in there because I did lose it already. Ball's in there. Um, I'm going to use a, a tray I got with my cheap Chinese hookah. See how big it is? It's cheap. It works. Fits perfectly. La room, the uh, ash my coals. So I'm gonna do that. Grommet for the hose. I'm gonna use my resin, my black and white resin, and uh, check this out. So that's how I set mine up for the bowl. Regular Egyptian bowl. I don't like really using uh, funnels. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And we're gonna smoke Nakla. Mixed fruit. I got this from uh, Dunkle from HookahPro.com. He sent me a couple samples. And uh, thank you for that, Dunk. And I told you I'd do a review on it eventually, even though it's been like a month or two. But sent me in this little baggie. So let's check it out. Um, I've only had Nakla a couple times. So kind of excited because I just made a huge order of it. I'm hoping I'll like it. So I just shred it up, try to get all the stems out of it, make sure I 
in here. <laughs> a whole lot in here. I don't know if I'm digging that with stems. I guess I have enough for two bowls, so if it really comes to be harsh because of all the stems and everything, then I'll just pack another bowl. Alright, so that's it. It's not overdoing the top. Push it down a little more. And for a foil, shoots down. Right. Um, I got this from SierraSmoke.com. They sent it to me. Some foil, pre-cut. So that's nice. I don't have to start messing around and shit. So here we go. Free cut foil, shiny side down, as everyone says. Place it on top. It's delicate, so be careful. Just spread it, spread it around the sides. So you feel it just crimping right around the sides where it kind of looks like that. And then just go in for the kill and just tighten that bitch up. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good bowl. I'll tell. The only problem with this, uh, really the sheets of foil that they give you, is um, they're a little too small for uh, my bowls. I usually like the foil come down here, so I know they won't come up or anything, but it's fine. I'm not too picky right now. I haven't smoked in a while. All this tobacco and milk poker. Right, I guess we can use this one. No. Hmm. This might be a problem, guys. There it is. No prevails. Alright. So, poker. Normal whole pan, just going around the circle. Not too much, not too little. Blow at the bottom. Make sure there's uh, airflow going through there. And that's about it, guys. Um, grommet on top. Grommet, hookah, bowl, get my drift. I'm not digging that seal right here. Just drove like five hours, guys. Give me a break. Oh, yeah, that's, that's better. Like that shit. Tight. Alright. So, I'm gonna put on uh, some three. Three Chronic Hookah Nats. And we'll see how this guy smokes.